Okay, Blaine Gray here for Plastering for Beginners. This is an exclusive um, tutorial for the 30 day challenge. First off, how's it going? You enjoying the training? Is it going well? Are we learning bits? Hopefully we've got the right mindset now towards getting that wall plastered and we hopefully injected a bit of confidence um, and you know, hopefully come to realize it's not this gift handed by God, <laughs> it's anyone can learn it. We've just got to get through the right process and learn the right way of doing it. So now it's crucial because we're going into the tool talk and I just wanted to do today, just give you a chance to um, basically just give you a brief in on what tools you'll need, which ones I for mainly think you should be having and then we'll give you the optional extras. Um, so let's get straight into it. The five tools I think you'll definitely need. This is actually, I don't think there's any uh, question about this. This is a definite is one you'll need um, a hawk or handboard as they say as other plasterers say because you need something to scoop the plaster on and um, that's a given there's no there's no avoiding that the second one is a bucket trowel that's to get the plaster from the bucket and to get it onto your hawk now i'm starting with them two because it really doesn't matter which ones you get for that i'm not going to be pedantic and say you need to get the I don't know, Marshalltown, Bucket Trowel of the Year. To be honest, the Hawk and the Bucket Trowel, they're just very, they do the job they do. It's not going to affect your finish if you get a good one or if you get a bad one. What I would recommend is if you're getting, if you are brand new, is get a plastic one. Get the PU Plastic Hawks. They're so much lighter and they, they are really nice to use. And if you are going to be doing, if you're not doing plastering every day, or even if you are doing it every day, it's a great starting point because it, it helps you develop your muscles. Plastering can be very hard going, especially if you've never done it before. So we really want the tools that's gonna to take the edge off and make it a bit easier. So um, the plastic hawks is what I recommend. Bucket trials, again, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you want it to be pedantic, I'd recommend getting a stainless steel one over your standard carbon steel, because it doesn't rust, but it really doesn't matter. Um, depending on your budget, you do what you feel is best there. Um, but again, just work to the budget you've got. If you can't spend a lot, don't go dashing out a load of money on your hawk and bucket trowel, it'll be wasted. Moving on, next thing is the base trowel. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, make sure you catch up because we talked about all the different types of trowels and their purposes and when you should be using them. Um, this is where I think you should really start spending a bit. Um, you do have your options. The one I recommend above all the rest is this. You'll see me use this all the way through my videos. It's the Marshalltown Perma Shape. If you are looking for this one, it's the one with the gold band. Um, it's stainless steel, which is good for beginners. I'm actually in the process of getting a carbon steel trowel. I'm going to go back to my roots. Um, but if you, if you are a beginner, I do recommend a stainless steel one because it won't rust. If you're not using it every day, again, you don't have to worry about it rusting up. Um, so I recommend this. What I have done, by the way, is underneath the video, I've got a URL. of It's just take you to a page with the tools I recommend you should be getting. So instead, you should be faffing around from place to place. I've just got a list of tools. It's on Amazon. I've always bought them tools from Amazon, to be fair. Next day delivery, which is crucial for this 30-day challenge. We don't really want to be waiting forever. And um, it's got a great return policy. If anything comes, it's no good. Send it back. So I've got this. Now, if you were, again, on a bit of a budget, the second one I recommend, which is a lot cheaper than a Marshalltown Perma Shape, is the Ox Trowel. Um, it is a great trowel to use. It's lightweight stiff and perfect pace trial to be using for beginners. So if you didn't really want to spend out and go for the Marshall Town, because I think these are like 50 to 55 pounds, they're not cheap, especially when you've got to buy all your tools and you've got to buy the full range, then I would recommend the Ox. It's a great variable, it's great. Um, it's a great alternative to the Marshall Town. Um, it's not as good as this, I'm not gonna lie. This is often regarded the best trial on the market, but it'll do, you know, it'll get you by. And the reason I say that is because the next trowel I recommend you buy is a flexi trowel. I do recommend you getting a flexi trowel. And there's one of two reasons. The base trowels never come broken in. So even though this says it'll be pre-worn, all that means is it'll be shaped. So basically, if you look down it, it's curved. It's not flat. 
The trial's not dead flat. You'd never want a dead flat trial, and we'll talk about that in the future. Um, but when you say pre-worn, it's basically got a slight curve to it. Now, the actual blade itself it will not be ready for finishing the plaster. Um, back in the day, you'd have two trowels. You'd have one that you take rendering with you. The one you take rendering is the one you're breaking in, as it were. The render, the sand cement, does a real good job at fine sanding the edge of your blade. Um, and then you'd have your other trowel, which you'd use daily. That's your finishing trowel. But you'd always have a backup that you'd break in beforehand. And that's because these trowels, they're not good for finishing straight off the bat. They're not ready for it. And, you know, if you're brand new starting out, you, you haven't got time to break in a Marshall Town trowel. You haven't got the, the opportunity to, you know, go on these big rendering jobs and smash it out for a month or two and getting ready for a finish, which is why I recommend getting a flexi trowel because these come pre-worn and these are ready to go. I still do recommend give it a sand with some fine sandpaper, really fine grade, give it a sand on the edge of the blade. What I'll do is I'll post a video actually on what to do if you have got a brand new trowel. Um, but yeah, these just ensure that you'll get be getting a good finish straight away. I know it's an extra expense, I know it's not cheap to start this plastering business, but I do recommend you go for a flexi trowel as well. Um, so the options on that, my all time favourite is the Superflex 2. Because one, it breaks in extremely rapid. Even the flexi trials have a slight uh, breaking period where they're not perfect straight off the bat. So you might use your flexi trial and you think it's leaving, it's scraping the plaster. It, is, it will do that a little bit. Nowhere near to the same degree as your base trial, but it will do it a little bit. Um, so what I recommend is the Rafina Superflex 2. That's a medium flex trial. And that means we can use it slightly early on within the process of plastering. Again, refer to the yesterday's video if you're unsure and when you can use that. But that's the flexi trial I recommend. Again, it is slightly expensive, so this is a variant that I recommend if you didn't want to go all out. This is the Ragni uh, Flex Light trial. And I was actually really impressed with this. Very impressed with this trial. Japanese steel. And what I really liked about it is the speed that it broke in. When I was using this, it took only took about a day where I was fully confident that it, it was ready to go. I could use it and confidently say that the finish was getting really good. Um, so this is the very, this is one I recommend if you didn't want to spend out on a Rafina Superflex 2. And the other great thing about these trials, you can get them from Tool Station. You can also get your Marshall Town from Tool Station. They're just bloody expensive from there. You can get them from Screwfix as well. They're just expensive when you get them from there. Where these, they've actually got quite a good offer at Tool Station, you can buy these at Tool Station for a very good price. I think it's like 36 quid for the 17 inch. You pick it up on site, you can look down, it makes sure it's not bent or damaged. So if you were gonna go for this one, which I highly recommend, it's a very good trowel, very nice handle, then I'd say get this from Tool Station. Don't get it online, um, because you've got risk. You know, you can just pick it from the shop and you don't have to pay for delivery fees. So that's where we're going with that. And the last thing is You'll need a water brush. Um, I'd recommend the thick water brushes. But again, if you're really on a budget, you can just use a paintbrush. Um, if you are really on a budget and you don't really want to spot fork out a load of money until you know for certain that this is going to be a thing for you, you can just have a, num a standard painting brush. And you will need a mixer. This is another expense, but this is something I don't think you can budge on. You won't get a nice mix with a shovel or a stick. <laughs> I know the old boys used to do it. It takes twice as long. If you're new, you haven't got the time to be playing mixing with plaster by hand. And the other thing is, it'll leave lumps. It won't have a perfect consistency and it will, it'll just trip you up. So it's not worth not having a mixer. Even if you had a combi drill, if you're doing small areas, combi drill with, um, with a mix attachment to it, you could probably get away with that for a, a small area. So, you know, even for this challenge, if you if you didn't really want to invest in a big mixer for plastering, maybe just have a, a combi attachment um, and you can get away with it that way, you know. It, it will do it. Again, it's not good for the combi drill, but, <laughs> but it will do it. But, you know, you can pick up a mixer for about 70 quid. Um, and there's one on Amazon called the Nord Stand. And it's a very good mixer. It's the one I've used. I've had it, I've had it for about... Eight years, maybe more, ten years, and it's not gone. It's the ones I use in all my videos, it's the one I use all the way through plastering. 
and I think it's like 80 quid. And it's brilliant, it's got a big thick paddle, which means it mix of plaster fast. You're not worried about it, you know, taking its time. It's a very good mixer. So I'll add that to the list. And that is the, that's what you, I recommend to start out with. Um, after that, it's just gonna be an optional bonus. So we've got the Hawk, Bucket Trowel, the Base Trowel, either the Marshall Town or the um, Ox, the Flexi Trowel. Again, it's totally up to you, but I recommend Rafina Super Flex 2 or the, the Ragney Flex Light because it's quite a budget choice. Um, and then we've got the water brush and the mixer. So we can get this, we can do this, you know, economically and get it for a bit of a bargain if you're clever about it. So that's what I recommend. I don't think you can go without them, to be honest. Um, you might be able to go without the Flexi Trial if you wanted. Um, but I just recommend for the finish, straight off the bat, it's going to be worth investing in. So, the optional bonuses now. The thing that will definitely put you in good stand and immediately help you get a, a flatter finish straight away will be a spatula. Um, my choice being the Ox Speed Skim ST. That will immediately increase the speed of which you're plastering. So, we're going to talk about in the future dividing each stage of plastering and just setting it out in just parameters as in when you're applying a plaster you're just applying it when you're flattening it you're just flattening it and the reason I say that is it's easy to get caught up with playing with a plaster like I was saying in previous emails you don't really want to get caught into the routine of playing with your plaster it's not good habit to get into and it just wastes a lot of time Whereas a speed skim will almost eliminate, eliminate that for you because when you've put the plaster on a wall, as soon as you've used a spatula, you'll see all the ripples, it'll evenly distribute the plaster and it will make your walls a lot flatter. So if you want a cheap way of um, getting your plaster fast and getting ahead of the game, then I would also recommend getting a speed skim ST. Um, and that's the only speed skim I recommend and that's the only spatula I recommend you get at this point. I don't think you should be getting the metal bladed spatulas because there's a chance that you might use it a bit early and it will affect your finish. If you were gonna start, I would get the Speed Skim ST900. The 900 is a 900 millimeters. It's an all round perfect shape, size, sorry, for that um, for plastering. So that's your added optional bonus, what you would there. Uh, and for this, for this uh, challenge, that is the perfect setup. Um, if you've got one bucket trowel, hawk, water brush, mixer, base trowel, flexi trowel, and a spatula, you're flying. You're, you've got everything you need to get you up and going. We've got the optional bonuses then, we've got the margin trowels, and we've got the corner trowels, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I don't wanna overwhelm you and give you a list the size of my arm. The idea of this video was to give a bit of clarity on tools and help you decide which ones to get. I didn't want to give you a big selection. I'll give you the best of the best on two range ranges where you've got the expensive and then you've got the intermediate pricing. I want it to make it easier for you, for anyone on a budget, or for all, anyone also who wanted to get the best of the best. So, moving on. What I want you to do is have a think on which tools you're willing to invest in. That's why I said yesterday about um, giving a price point, just having a rough idea how much you're willing to spend. So, I uh, like I said, I've got a shop link below, which has got the tools there, have a look. And then shop around, see what you think, which trials you're willing to get to. And you know, have a think which ones you're willing to get. So today, he's gonna be doing a lot of homework for you. It's looking at which tools you're willing to buy and the models you wanna get. Oh, and a quick side note, for the trials, I'd always go 14 inches for the base trial and the flexi trial. Great all round size, perfect for beginners. So that's your homework, it's enough homework for you actually because we all know how long it takes to shop around. Um, if you're not happy with Amazon, no worries. I've only put it there because it's. I put it in the storefront, it's easy to put all the tools together and I think they're all generally good, good priced. If you've got Prime, you get it next day. If not, shop around, get these from Toolstation, get these from Screwfix, you can get cheap, um, you can get cheap mixers from B&Q. I think you can get some for like 40 quid. So that's all right. Again, you don't have to spend a load of thousands of pounds to get started in plastering. Um, shop around, have a look, and 
yeah, so let me know what you think about the video, let me know what you think about the suggestions, it's um, obviously we're coming to the weekend now, and I will have some more emails, but like I said, let me know how the challenge is going, we're going to keep pushing through, we're going to get them tools ordered, and then we're going to get to the point where we're going to be giving them a test run. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the content so far, let's see, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, cheers.